What's up guys, Tommy Mitchell here, your lazy agent, and today we're gonna to be doing a deep dive into the Chime CRM's smart plans tool for both advanced automation and follow-up. I'm also gonna be giving you some really powerful examples on how you can both use these advanced automation tools or following up with more leads automatically and dynamically inside of your business today. So make sure you watch the entire video. But first, before we dive into it, let's kind of talk about what Chime smart plans are and how they work and why you might want to use them. Now, every CRM out there has some sort of like drip campaign, content campaign where it will send out emails or tasks automatically. Usually it's emails and text messages and some sort of like task reminder tool where it'll send you like a scheduled task. But that's usually the extent of it when it comes to any CRM out there. Now, for the most part, Chime smart plans is what they call it. I know other CRMs call them action plans or follow-up plans or drip campaigns or something along that line. Chime calls them smart plans. And the reason that Chime calls them smart plans is because they're really smart and they do a lot more than literally any CRM that I've ever seen, at least in the real estate industry. And for how advanced they are, they're actually really easy to use. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump into my Chime CRM and take a deep dive look at smart plans. So as you can see here, I got like a thousand different smart plans automating different things. Most of them this follow-up however they are doing some other automation tasks that clients would ever see and then obviously just so you know you have my plans team plans and you have this big library of smart plans the library of smart plans are okay they're really not my favorite you do got different categories that you can search through and you know like your anniversaries your birthday cards so like if you want something really basic you can get these from here but for the most part i like to build my own but right ahead we'll go ahead and click add new and when you do you have the option of choosing a standard plan which is going to be 99 percent of your plans are going to be a standard plan but they also have recurring plans where these plans will then trigger based on a particular date or activity so like you got your new year's your christmas your birthday close dates like when you sell a house maybe you want to send out like a postcard or maybe you want to send out like a home anniversary postcard or letter or something like that and then you have a custom field where you can build custom fields inside of each chime client profile and do some more advanced automation like that i don't really use this tool but you definitely can again it's giving you that flexibility and freedom to do literally whatever you want so we'll go ahead and select a standard plan for this video and it's really important to note that chime works on a trigger based system and this is what really makes chime smart plans so smart and unique compared to other crms now a lot of crms will have some sort of trigger like when a lead comes in a follow-up campaign will trigger chime's a little bit different in the sense that it's relatively easy to understand and it gives you a lot of different options so we'll go ahead and just name our plan right now and then we also have this option to target leads we'll go ahead and choose buyers for this example you can choose sellers you can choose buyer and sellers renters or other and and of course you can target everyone. Now it's really important that you pick a target group because you need to know who this smart plan is for so it doesn't trigger on the incorrect type of lead. You can then choose a my plan or a team plan. So if you're a team leader, you might want to build plans for your team, either to copy and paste and grab on or just to build out plans that you want to apply to every single lead. Now this is really important right here and this is our applicable conditions. We already select whether it's a buyer or a seller or buyer seller or renter, but applicable conditions is really the heart and soul of Chime's smart plan automation. And and this allows you to trigger a smart plan so it will start based off of virtually any type of criteria that you can think of. So first up, we have our very basic trigger. So when a lead is newly created, you can have a trigger for basically any lead source you want. Let's just say we'll have a trigger for a Facebook lead. It could also be in a certain group. So if it's, let's just say it's a, uh, a local home buyer who's looking to buy within six to 12 months does have an agent and does or does not have a lender. Now, obviously you can select as many as these as you want. I usually select one or two, but for this example's sake, I'm just showing you all the different options. You have a last touch point. So if you haven't been in contact with the lead within a certain amount of days, it can trigger a smart plan. And then you have lead scores, which is Chime's dynamic lead scoring, which it gives a lead a particular score based on how likely Chime thinks they are ready to buy or sell. However, most of your smart plans are gonna be probably this guy right here, whenever leads meet specific conditions. And this is really really important so maybe we don't want to have any sort of lead source so we'll just turn that off and we don't care about any groups time frame doesn't matter i didn't realize it was going to be still be selected none of this stuff really matters but for the sake of this we could say hey whenever a leads meet a specific condition i really like to use the pipeline tool for this example here so for let's just say for example sake whenever we have a hot lead and we'll choose a groups and pipelines are completely customizable by the way and just so you know chime runs on a pipeline system so like right here this is my contact page you can see all my contacts this is the pipeline right here where i have my new leads my nurture my cold warm hot leads my appointment set leads all my active clients any clients that are under contract and then my closed in the last year and then my do not contact now this is really important to note because my goal is to get leads to move down the pipeline and eventually close 
Now, a lead has to live somewhere in this pipeline. They have to live somewhere and they can't be duplicated. So a lead can't both be hot and warm. It just has to pick one or the other. So all my hot leads, for example, get hot lead automation, which follows up with those leads. And I'll have some examples for you later in this video, but that's just really important to note. Now, groups are a little bit different. Think of groups as buckets. A lead can live in multiple groups. So I have like my past client, I have like my top 50, my top 100. These are like my sphere leads, my A, B, and C type leads. I just name it top 50, top 100. You can do whatever you want. I have like my out of state leads, my vacant land leads, my investor leads. So basically I like to organize my leads in different buckets. You don't have to do this. This is more advanced. Like you really want to get organized. You can do this. Really the important thing you need to know is pipeline tool. So again, back to here to our example, we have our leads that are in our hot pipeline. They're going to be our buyer leads that we talked about, and we're not going to select any other conditions. We're just going to go ahead and click save. And now that we have our applicable conditions set, we can click auto apply. Now this will only auto apply once this plan is saved. I'm going to turn this off for now, but normally you turn this on when you want to use it. And uh, just so we're clear, if you don't want this to apply to currently existing leads, you just turn this off to exclude currently applicable leads. So this way, this smart plan is only going to apply to brand new leads inside of your CRM or not necessarily brand new leads, brand new leads that this plan applies to. So if it's a lead that just moved into the hot pipeline, for example, this campaign would then apply to them. You can do either or it really depends on what your objective is with the smart plan. Now Chime also has this auto pause when feature, which is really, really cool. So if the lead responds or reaches out, you could say, I want the plan to pause. So if they respond to my text messages, this is really good if you do like a new lead, like they respond, let's just say, for example, we're doing a, when a new lead is created, like a new Facebook lead, they respond to one of our texts, or one of our emails. We might say then I want to move the lead into a group or a different pipeline, or maybe we want to add a tag. So make maybe like a pipeline, I would move the lead from the new lead pipeline to a hot lead pipeline. You can do the same thing with like a tag. Maybe like I want to put them in like a talking to bucket or a talking to group or something like that. Really your options are limitless. And then of course you can also pause it when the lead has a call that is logged. And then when the lead pipeline status changes. So if the lead, so then maybe when like a lead moves from a hot pipeline, once it like responds and like moves an appointment set or like an active client, like a cold client or something like that. Maybe we want the plan to stop. That's something I really do. Or my pipeline example, I have follow-up campaigns for every single one of these pipeline stages. And when they move from each different pipeline, I always check this box right here. So the smart plans automatically pause because I don't want them to be on the hot pipeline plan and then move to the cold lead and then still be getting the hot pipeline plans as well as the cold smart plans. It's just too many messages. It's confusing. And I want this to do it automatically. I don't have to manually go in and adjust these settings. So I just have it automatically pause. Of course, then you have a few other options here as well. All right, now let's go on and move to the smart plan, the types of content we can send out. So first up by default, it's going to have an auto email. You also have automated texts. You also have emails, text messages. These are all manual tasks. We have to manually do these. You also have postcards. These are not tasks. This is like a legit postcard. So you have to build the postcard out, you design it, do all that stuff, and it will just automatically send it out. Really, really cool stuff. You also have a letter, so you can do the same thing with letters and all that cool jazz. You also have tools like a Zapier integration. If you're familiar with Zapier, you can do some really advanced stuff with this. So I like to zap over different tasks, different types of automation. I, one of our examples later, I'm going to show you how I use Zapier inside of my Chime CRM. Really, really powerful stuff. You're also able to change pipelines. So let's just say when a plan is over and you want to change the pipeline for a lead, maybe they went through the entire warm follow-up plan and you want to move them to a cold lead, you can change their pipeline status to a different pipeline. You do the same thing with like groups and tags. You can add and remove tags, add and remove groups. You can also start a secondary smart plan. So if you want to start more smart plans, you can definitely do that. One way I, I use this tool is I have like my 10 days of pain or my 10 days of follow up for all my new leads. And then once that 10 days is over for all my different lead sources, I put them on a general attempting contact smart plan that starts right after, which is helpful for me because then I don't have to waste time building out 10 really long one year smart plans for all my different new leads that I have. I only have to build the first few days and then the next six to 12 months are already automated and built. It just helps me to build smart plans a lot faster. You can also add property alerts. So if you want to do like a buyer property alert, you can send like a general like property alert, which is really cool, especially if you're doing like list of home Facebook ads, like download our list of homes for under $500,000. Well, then you can automatically set them up on a property alert with that criteria. You have all the search criteria options inside of Chime. So you can do like investments like multifamily homes, you know, by square footage, keywords, 
your build. So you can do like all the new builds. Here's my list of new builds. Like you could do all sorts of really cool stuff. And you have a couple other tasks like checklists and other. And then my favorite is Sly Broadcast, which is your ringless voicemail. So if you want to do ringless voicemails, you can definitely do that inside of Chime. We'll go ahead and just select auto email for now for example's sake. You also have your timeline. So like when you want it to go out, it can go out immediately within a certain time window. So you could say like between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m., which is good if you don't want to go out the night. You can also have it wait within a few hours. Again, you have that window where it will not go out. And this is completely customizable. So this would be really good if you want to get really creative, say between like 8 a.m. and like 11 a.m. So you want to go out only in the morning because then you could be like, good morning, John, got your inquiry last night. But you can do stuff like that, which would be pretty cool. Then of course you can wait days or whatever you want. So for email, you have all your basic editing tools. You can change the color, text, font, size. You can have attachments, photos, videos, YouTube videos, emojis. You can even import listings. So if you have like a particular house that you want to import, you can definitely do that. Add it right here into the email. Of course, you also have a ton of templates that are already pre-made and add those. And then you have the variable content, which is really, really powerful. You got your autofill names, but you also have a ton more stuff like buyer city, like inquired city, inquired property, buyer property address, seller home address, triggered behavior, listing address. This is really, really cool. We'll go some advanced automation later where you can use this. But if they were to like inquire on a particular property on your website or like a property or look at a property seven more times and within the next week, you can do some really cool dynamic stuff with it. And if you're building out a team and you're, you run a team, you have all your agents, all your assistants, your ISAs, this is fully customizable. You have a lot here actually. Also a really cool tool I don't think people realize is you can also CC your family members. So any family members that maybe you want to CC a husband and wife, you want them to get like property information or updates on things. You can also CC the entire family, which is really, really cool. And then you, you can also assign particular tasks in your smart plans to either come from an assistant, come from the agent, agent, maybe an ISA, you can really assign it however you want and set it up that way. And then when you want to add additional steps, you just click next step and you're off to the races. Now I, I want to talk about a really cool tool inside of Chime and that's conditional questions. I talked about this in a couple of videos, but I think this is a really underutilized tool. Basically the way it works is if you were to click on this, you can ask the lead a question and you're not actually asking the lead a question. You're asking the system a question. So is the lead a first time home buyer? Has the lead been pre-qualified? Do they have an agent already? Do they have a property alert? Property alert is a really powerful one. Let's go ahead and select this one for now. If yes, then you have a few different options here. You can do, again, any smart plan task you want. So if they have a property alert, let's go ahead and send an automated text saying, hey, lead name, we're going to select the lead name, wanted to check in and see if there are any houses that you'd like to see. And then maybe if no, if they don't have a property alert, let's just say for whatever reason, they don't have a property alert, we want to send them a different message. Actually, we can send them any message we want. Let's go ahead and send them AI. So we're going to enable the AI instead. And with the AI, we're going to go ahead and just suggest some listings with the lead and the AI is going to automatically start sending listings to the lead that AI thinks the lead might like. And this is going to be over text message. So it's going to text the leads, these things, which actually reminds me, I want to talk about some other automation that Chime has under the applicable conditions. I forgot to mention this. I think it's really powerful and really important. Obviously we have these different lead criteria, but I really like this trigger right here for the applicable conditions or the triggers for the Chime CRM. And that is the behavioral trigger. So like when the lead behaves in a certain way on your website, you can then trigger a smart plan automation. Again, this is really, really cool stuff here. But let's just say when we click this box, when a lead leaves a message or saves a listing, views a listing three or more times, request a showing, a return to the website. This is a really powerful one. Let's just say they return to the website for the first time in like 90 days. Like you can send them a particular message. I really like this one right here. Let's just say uh, view one listing three times. So that's if they view a listing three times, I believe it's in 24 hours is how this work. It might be more, but if they're looking at a listing multiple times and they keep coming back to it, I want to send them a automated text or something like that, right? Let's, so let's just say, let's just send them an automated text saying like, hey, are there any houses that you want to see? And and we're going to go ahead and just turn this off. I want it to apply to all my pipelines and they don't need to have a lender or anything like that. So we'll just have let it apply to everyone. So again, that's a really cool way that you can text potentially really, really hot leads inside of your CRM and try and schedule showing appointments automatically.
All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and dive into some examples on how I'm using smart plans inside of my Chime CRM to follow up and convert my needs automatically. But before we do that, I do wanna let you know I do have a ton of free follow-up campaigns on smart plans, as well as a free Chime course on how to automate your entire Chime CRM down in the description below. So make sure you check that out if you want to learn more about automating your CRM, get some of my follow-up campaigns. But with that said, we'll go ahead and dive into some really powerful examples right now on how I'm automating my follow-up. All right. So let's go ahead and just start with my hot general follow-up. So this is my current follow-up campaign for all my hot leads. As you can see, there are 25 steps. So 25 different automations. It's for my buyer leads. And then it lasts 160 days. And we'll go ahead and just click on it just to show you what that looks like. So the way I like to name my smart plans is I always name them for what pipeline stage they are in. And that's because I have automation built up for every pipeline. If it applies to all pipelines, I'll usually just write all, but you can do whatever you want. That's just how I name them to keep everything organized. Organization is key because you Will forget and lose certain smart plans. You won't know where they are or what they do, and things will just start triggering that you totally forgot about like two years later. Again, I keep it really, really simple. This one's just for buyers. I have one similar for sellers. And then for my applicable conditions, I have when they're in the hot pipeline, a local home buyer group, and then any lead source. And the reason I do local home buyer group, you don't have to do this, is because I work with a lot of people out of state. So any lead that is a buyer that lives out of state, they're gonna get a different hot follow-up smart plan as opposed to our local home buyer are going to get a local smart plan. And that's because if you live out of state, I don't want to be sending them text messages saying like, hey, do you want to look at any houses this weekend? That doesn't make sense because they don't live here. It's going to be more like messaging is going to be more, hey, are there any homes that you want a video tour of? Any things that catches your eye that you want me to go out and film for you? Planning on any visits here within the future. And you can do the same thing with different types of leads, maybe like your investors or your vacant land leads or condo leads, single family home, retirement, downsizers, upsizers. Like you have a ton of options for really customizing your follow up here. So that's why I do this local home group. But if you just want to do just general one type of group in my free time course, I just teach one type of lead and that's all local home buyers. You don't need to do this step. You just need the hot pipeline. Go ahead and hit save on that. And then right away, I want it to auto pause when it changes pipelines or actually if this lead was to leave the hot pipeline, either to an appointment set or cold or warm pipeline, I want this plan to auto pause so they don't get double lead. Now, four days later, usually in the morning, I like to send all my messaging out in the morning and I always select like a different time. I notice the time usually doesn't matter. I just kind of do it mid morning. I realize I try to schedule my auto text and auto emails to go around and I'm gonna be doing my follow up. And usually early in the morning, I'm gonna be spending time making content and I don't really have time to follow up with people. That's why I kind of do it a little bit later in the morning. 8.30 is probably a little bit early. People usually take an hour or two to get back to you, but that's okay. And then for our hot pipeline, I like to follow up every few days. This one, I do a double whammy. So I do a text message and then I do a follow up with an email like right after you don't have to do that but I do six days later six days later I got two couple different texts I also have this automation right here so again we're doing a traditional logic have they favorited a listing if yes they get auto text if no I suggest some listings I don't use the AI right here you could if you want to I just do an auto text to suggest some listings and then I do all my just listed today so this is a custom URL for just new listings we have a few more texts and emails as well we also throw in a few slide broadcasts just to fake a few phone calls which are always fun but I want to show you at the end here where I then and change the leads pipeline. So if they go through all 22, 25, whatever messages that I have here, I want to change the leads pipeline to warm because they are no longer a hot lead. They have not booked an appointment to look at a house with me. By the time they got through the smart plan, they're no longer a hot lead and I don't want to be following up with them every single week. So we're going to change it to a couple times a month and we're going to move that lead to the warm pipeline. Now you're going to notice I have this thing called Zapier right here and I'm not sending out a zap to Zapier. What I'm doing is I'm adding a time delay. So I just say Zapier and then I add wait five days. And that's because if you do a pipeline change, you can't select a wait X amount of days. So I don't know why I wish Chime would just let me select when I want the pipeline to change. However, I can't. So I added a zap your task right here. It's kind of like a little workaround hack. All right, now I want to go ahead and show you some website automation. So website activity, automated showing requests. This is basically me trying to schedule a showing request. Not trying to, I do. It's very successful. It works all the time. Basically someone requests a showing on your website and I want to follow up with them right away. So oftentimes right away for our automation, I'm just gonna select all leads. I want to apply to all of our leads. You can name this all leads. I like to name it website activity just because I have a few different website activity automations and under edit, we'll go ahead and select when specific leads have certain behavior. I don't know why I hate that sentence. I just hate that sentence. 
Basically, that's just when a lead engages in certain type of behavior. We're going to do request a showing, and then we're just going to leave this all open to anything. And then we're going to auto pause when the lead responds and reaches out. I don't have any action after that. Also, if the call is logged as talk, then pause the plan. Basically, right away, I just say, hey, lead, I just got your showing request to see. Again, remember, this is that trigger, that trigger behavior listing address. So basically, based off of the trigger of the smart plan, whatever address that is, that's the house they want to see or when they liked a bunch of times or something like that. I want to autofill that address into here and then say, awesome, when would you like to see it? Tell me the realtor manager broker at Real Broker, blah, 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 blah. I also send out an email right away and then a slide broadcast right away so then they can get a voicemail. So they get triple hard right off the bat within two minutes of requesting a showing appointment. And this is me trying to schedule a time to talk with them. Now, sometimes they call you back, not very often. Usually they respond to a text or an email. Our email is really, really short, by the way. And for our subject line, I do, I got your showing request for, or one, two, three Main Street. And then I just keep this really short. Don't waste people's time. Don't talk too much. I just find that doesn't seem to work very well. And then follow up with them again the next morning. And then a few minutes later, I do this missed call email that goes out. By the way, this subject line freaking kills. It does so well. Missed call for John, missed call for Tom, missed call for Janice. Like this subject line just does so well. Especially when you pair it with a slide broadcast or a ringless voicemail. It's a pre recorded voicemail. I'm sure you can figure it out. I just got your showing request, but you can do whatever pre recorded voicemail you want a couple hours later i'm just gonna say hey let me know ha 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 and then this is kind of like my last ditch effort followed by a reminder at the end to delete this smart plan so if they were to request a, an additional showing later in the future or a few days from now i want this to trigger again now next up i want to show you some zapier automation on how i use zapier inside of the chime crm we're going to go to our appointment set so every time i schedule an appointment i have a lot of really powerful automation that does a lot of really cool things one of them is i always have all my leads sign a buyer agency agreement with me no matter what. So after I have a meeting with them, so like after a buyer consultation or so it's either after I have a buyer consultation or I schedule a showing with them like three hours before a home showing, I send them this smart plan and it's just two steps. It's really simple. Basically the description for this is a Zapier trigger. So it triggers a zap inside of Zapier that sends out a DocuSign to have them sign a buyer agency agreement. Now I'm gonna tell you right now, 80% of people sign it, no problem. They just sign it right away call it good. I include our real estate agency pamphlet that we're required to in Washington state. I also send them this text messages five minutes, eight later. So after they get that email from Zapier, I say, Hey, first name, I just even you that buyer agency agreement I mentioned earlier, please take a look at it and send me a chance. Please know I'll need you to sign before we start looking at properties. Let me know if you have any questions. Now it's important to note that they actually got a video explaining this beforehand. When I schedule an appointment with them, they actually get this video right here, appointment set expectations and introduction video. And they get this little video. It's a bomb bomb video. I actually have it linked to YouTube because I don't use bomb 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 anymore, but I like the little animated thing right here. I also send them another email and another text message right away. Again, it all works very, very well. And this is just a short three minute video kind of talking about what I do and why I work for them. And they get this, whether it's just a showing appointment or a actual buyer consultation, they get this. In this video, I talk about that buyer agency agreement that they're going to sign it. And again, 80% of people that sign it right away, I'd say about 10 to 15% forget to sign it or don't sign it at all. And I just tell them they need to and they either do or they don't. And then about 5% of people will tell you to screw off and I never hear from them again. That's okay. They're just less time wasted. It's actually increased my close rate so much from one out of five leads I meet in person to about one in three. So it's definitely worth it, especially if I'm losing leads. I don't really care. They were never going to work with you anyway. So if they're not willing to sign it, they were never going to work with you. That's how I set that up with Zapier. Really, really cool. Obviously, there's a lot more steps to setting it up with Zapier. I do have some free training on that again down in the below. So make sure you check that out if you want some free free Chime CRM automation training on how I set up my Chime CRM to automate your entire CRM and to basically never follow up again. It's really, really awesome. You do have to follow up a little bit, but it's basically mostly on autopilot. It's really, really cool. Also, I have a really cool video on how to integrate ChatGPT into your Chime CRM right here. Uh, if you don't know what ChatGPT is, it's just really powerful AI. I'm sure all of you have heard about it by now. So check that video out right here. Really, really powerful stuff. With that said, my name's Tommy Munchler, your lazy agent, and I will see you in the next one.